Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Susan Love TV from Susan in Family TV. So, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. As for me and my daughter, we are doing super, 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 super great. By His grace, amen. And we wish the same for you out there, amen. So, beautiful people, welcome to another amazing, entertaining, educative, interesting, inspiring video from Susan Love TV, from Susan and Family TV. So, beautiful people, if it's your first time of passing by, we appreciate you. Thank you for taking your time to pass by our channel, Susan Love TV. And this is not our first channel. We also have our first channel, our family channel called Susan Family, Susan and Family TV. So we are coming from Susan and Family TV. So welcome again to Susan Love TV. So beautiful people, we are going to be sharing today. We and you are going to be talking and discussing about continuation of a video I did, I think, 10 months ago, I did this video, so I'm going to be doing the continuation and I'm going to be like reacting to the video because of the title of what we are going to be discussing today, which this title says, Do Men Forgive Their Women When Their Women, Their Wives Cheat on Them? So this video we are about to do, it might be like some people might not understand it some women might not understand this kind of video because why they have not cheated on their husband before because this kind of women have not cheated in relationship they have not cheated on their men before you know so they might not understand this video i'm about to do they might find it strange just as i also found it strange before that this kind of thing doesn't exist until I come across this kind of uh, a news on the on Google, and I did a re I did uh, the video and ten months ago. I'm going to show you the video before we are going to go on the topic. Do men forgive their wives and women when their wives and women shit on them? So before we are going to go on that, if men do forgive their wives and women when their wives and women shit on them, before we are going to go on that, for you to understand what we are going to try to talk about so we are going to like try to do the continuation of this video which says which i did six and ten months ago it says six of six of ten children in nigeria brought for dna testing not fathered by the supposed father so i'm going to like try to show you the video so that you can understand because when i'm going to be talking about it maybe you will not understand so please if you love this video and you want to like understand this video more try and watch it on our family channel i did a video on our family channel susan and family tv so i'm going to try to like start from the beginning i'll like do it a little like five minutes then i'm going to do the ending what i like did in the continuation for you guys to know before we are going to continue with this so let me try to like take it to okay okay from google
three main areas, paternity and, and other family relationships, immigration, and DNA test during pregnancy. Prenata DNA test. In this interview with Primo Times, Mr. Abiodun speaks about paternity fraud and the practice of DNA testing in Nigeria. So we continue. There appears to be renewed interest in DNA testing in Nigeria. Why do you think this is happening? So they're asking Salami now. Salami says, well, there are several reasons. The first reason is immigration purposes. Because when you are traveling abroad, you will be required to carry out a DNA test on the kids who would be accompanying you, especially if you say you are the parents. The second reason could be child trafficking. At the airport, if you are a woman, you are traveling with a child less than six months, you will be asked to go for a paternity test to confirm you are the mother of the child. So it also says, oh, there is a paternity test too. The Salima says, yes, we do paternity testing too and sending the mother of a child. In infidelity in marriage, the third, yeah, he said, yeah, the third reason is a major reason, infidelity, infidelity in marriage. That is why they do the test, you know, mostly when the children are traveling abroad for them to know if the parents are really, you know, the parents of the kids. So it says infidelity in marriage. There are, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> There are so many issues online, I mean. We have read and seen cases of fathers raising children that don't belong to them. It has always been like that, sincerely. But because of social media, people cannot share and know what... So we continue. It says, because of social media, people cannot share and we know what is happening. People are getting to know that they are... They can actually do DNA testing to know the father of the child instead of raising a child for more than five, six years only to discover it is not your own. So they ask another question. What was the patronage like at Facility Pro to this renewed awareness? So Salami says, let me give you a statistics before now. We do an average of 100 DNA test in a month, but now we handle as many as 400 cases monthly. So let's continue. So Salami says, the statistics are mind-blowing. You discover that almost 60% of the tests that, are, that people come to do are negative. In fact, 6 out of every 10 paternity tests turn out negative. Statistically, in DNA paternity testing, most times in Nigeria, we see that 6 out of every 10 children might not be fathered, might not be fathered by their biological father. So it also continues saying, yes, but it, but it has also a biased statistic because for someone to walk in here, he already suspect that there is an issue. There is already there is already there is really a doubt already, and most people won't believe that statistics until it happens to them. I always advise men: it is good to trust, but verify things are happening. If everyone starts doing DNA tests, the whole country will scatter. There will be no marriage again. Most female undergraduates now have one man or two others sponsoring their education aside from their father. These are the men that will eventually be build the share men at their wedding. These are the men that are actually sleeping sleeping with from the from experience in DNA testing. Most firstborns are not fathered by the husbands at all because because these people have a true relationship before getting married. Most times they continue with the relationship, they don't leave it after marriage. So then they ask a question, how could couples 
how would couples who welcome their kids via assisted reproduction manage privacy, especially when the DNA test is required of them for immigration purposes? Salami says, we had a case of a family that, that did IVF and used a sur sur surrogate mother. When they wanted to travel out, the embassy sent them here to carry out a paternity and the maternity test to discover that they were not the real parents of their babies. We discovered that the fertility clinic they used actually missed the mass pain. They had triples, they had triplets. Two children were from the mass pain cells and one was not from him. The other children were from the mother cells and one was not mm. from her. They had to go back to the agency to find out what happened. Probably there was a mixture of sperm cells or eggs, but normally, even if they use a surrogate mother, the children will take their DNA from the egg or sperm donor. So it doesn't really matter, you know. So now they ask another question. This means there should there shouldn't be any form of secrecy in the parents conceived via IVF. For instance, they need to open up to the genetics right. Then Salami says, yes, yes, they should open up because we, we will detect normally it should be a perfect match. If you are doing a paternity test for a child and samples taken from both parents, it should have, it should have a perfect match. This is because each child will take half of the chromosome from the father and another half from the mother. If there is a mismatch, there is a problem. Now, if we have a, if we are having a perfect match for the father and an almost imperfect match from the mother, we will ask questions. So it continues, beautiful people. Most times, <laughs> most times when a woman is just gestational career she holds the help but in rare cases when fluid passes through the inter interus i mean the fallopian tube there is a mixture of blood going through the mother of the baby and when there is a mixture some parts of the dna of the gestational mother will go into the baby just a few so when there is a miss mismatch we know it was an IV that occurred so now salami says you know cases where couples that we have been trying to conceive for years then go where they tell them they can get them baby they pay the mother will tell them the sex she wants in cases they inject a sex harmony harmony into the woman and they tell them not to go for a scan. Eventually, when they give birth, they come for a test. We discover that the husband or wife does not own the child. So she feels she is actually pregnant because she exhibits all the signs of pregnancy. And they will be the ones to tell her she is due. But when she wakes up, she sees a baby. The people claiming to cut off the unbreakable code from her. Whereas it's another baby they brought from the labor room. So when, <laughs> so we continue beautiful people. Mm. So when we do a maternity test, we discover that the baby is not here. So we tell them to go back and tell the child is not theirs. So we have seen cases like that. Mm. This is what we call cryptic pregnancy. Mm. So they ask another question. What is the craziest you have experienced? Salami says, a lot, let me see. We have had cases where two men fight over a child. Mm. They were a childless couple before mm. the woman got pregnant for the childhood boyfriend. She gave birth to twins boys who incidentally looked a, a lot like her husband. But the man outside was presuming her to bring the children saying he was ready to marry her. It became a big issue. When it came to the issue of child custody, the court brought them to test and we discovered that 
the man at home and a childhood boyfriend were not even the Ooh. father of the child, Jesus. <laughs> Can a mistake occur? Now another question. Can a mistake occur during DNA testing? Yeah, this is very important. Can yeah. a mistake occur? You know, yeah, of course, because sometimes, sometimes in Nigeria people the, think that yeah. DNA test some is not true. So now they are asking. At but least once of, out of 100, there must be a mistake sometimes. Testing. This is important, beautiful people. Let's listen. So Salami says, it is possible to make human error. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible. Especially when there is a mix up with the sample. You see? Yeah. The, especially when there is a mix up with the sample. It is, you know, especially Hero. when there is a mix up with the sample. You know, it is possible with human error. That is a human error, but it is not rare. But there yeah, are it's not cases common. where we have Shimara syndrome, but it is also rare. This is when a woman DNA does not match that of her child. Mm. It is very rare. Probra probably one in a million cases. Okay, so one in a million nice cases. Here. That is, it's not so common. Now, okay. It also, a kitty, a decides, decides materials arrive late in the adult okay now they ask another question how much does it cost to undergo a dna test please take us through the process salami says it costs about sixty thousand per person okay. which is about 120 for father and child mm. we use different samples 120 thousand naira for father and child okay. for one person is sixty thousand naira so it says we use different samples like the mud swamp, swamp, hair, blood, was sweat, chewing gum, toothbrush. But the best is the mud swamp, which you use, which we, which we just use cutting wool. It is those nut cells from the mouth that we extract the DNA from the nucleus of those cells. Once the DNA are extracted, we then compare the genetics. As a human being, we inherit half of the genus from from my father and another half from my mother. So what we do is to compare half of my father's DNA with half, half of mine, and there must be a complete match. match. There, if there is a complete match, yeah, then the yes. probability of paternity is about ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. If there is a mismatch mm -hmm. in in one or two other three places, it will automatically come down to zero. Hmm. That means we are not related at all. The results are hmm. ready within a week or at Ooh, least like seven that. working days. So hmm. another question. Do you conserve purpose before carrying out the DNA test? Salami said, yes, we do that a lot. Even post-test, even post-testing, when the result comes, we see some men crying, saying that they have made a mistake by taking care of a child because he brought, he thought he wasn't it. Some men also break down when they discover that he has been raising another man's child. In works, men, the wives isn't remorseful. Mm. We have seen a lot. We consult, there have been cases when a man will come for a DNA test and the result comes out negative. And after looks of talk and counsel, the wife insists that she didn't have any extra material, extra marital affair. Okay. We then conducted the maternity mm -hmm. test and discovered that the woman mm. was also not the mother oh, of that child. Jesus. We then ruled out infertility mm. and realized that the baby was switched at she the hospital bit. shortly after birth. While Jesus. most times this occurs when the wrong name tag is this yeah. child. So beautiful people, mm. hope you love this topic. So if you want to see the continuation of this video, I that's why do now. It's very we are doing the continuation <laughs> now. <laughs> Please comment. After 10 right, months, today we are doing the continuation. Topic. So beautiful Amen. people, what I'm trying to say that things are happening, you know, the more we look at you, the more we see that things are happening. So I wrote sometimes, I says I wrote some few points. I said sometimes it might be that a woman, when a woman is not sure of her monthly cycle, you know, before she meets a man, you know, maybe before she say, oh, she wants to settle to get married.
married just like what we have right now she's not sure of her monthly cycle that you know she didn't do a checkup like testing pregnant test now thank god that pregnant test can be found even bought in the supermarket in the pharmacy you don't need that you must go to the doctor you know so to be avoiding all these kind of things it will be good before women go into marriage let them try to do you know a pregnant test for them mm -hmm. to be sure and even before they will start to sleep you know with their so you know their husband to be let it be like two to three months four months you know let them be really sure after mm -hmm. the pregnancy test that they are not pregnant to avoid all these kind of things you know so i also read wrote telling the truth if you were pregnant before before starting another relationship yeah beautiful mm -hmm. people if you were pregnant before and you don't want to do abortion it mm -hmm. is very good when you meet maybe we're pregnant with a man who didn't accept your baby and you now meet a man who wants you who loves you who cherishes you it's good for you to say the truth to the man let the man know that oh you are pregnant but you don't want to do abortion mm -hmm. if the man wants it that way you know he will accept the child knowing already fully yeah. in him that he's fathering a child that is not biological is but mm -hmm. because he loves you mm -hmm. he accepts you know the child to be yeah. his you know so i also says care and support from men so sometimes you see that this men sometimes men they don't care for their for their women they don't care they don't support their women sometimes you see that these women they don't have you know they don't have option maybe when they don't have enough income you know they are sleeping you know with their husband or their man in their life they have relationship with already mm -hmm. and they will have extra you know extra uh, extra relationship elsewhere with mm -hmm. other men rich men you know that are you know giving them money at the end of it they'll be sleeping with this men outside that are giving them money they'll be sleeping with the men in their that they live together with that are, you know that are in the house with them at the end of it when she gets pregnant beautiful people she there cannot. is no way she's going to know mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. is the father yeah. either is the man in the home that is the father or the rich man outside that is giving mm -hmm. her the money so by god's grace we are going to do the yes. continuation of this. <laughs> please try and subscribe and do share this video so that you can see the continuation of this video mm -hmm. and please do share subscribe see you in our next video by his grace if you want to see the continuation you love this topic free free comment below i will do the continuation by god's grace see you in our next video by his grace we love you bye so beautiful people here is it so you see what happened so before we do the continuation i said no it's good for me like try to show the first video what we did because sometimes it might be that you will be checking in our family channel susan family tv and you will not like you know so the this video so if you love this video i just showed you so when you want to ch check on it on our family channel susan and family tv the title again is six of ten children in nigeria brought for dna testing not fathered by the supposed father so when you write it with our family chinese susan family tv is going to come out so i just decided to like i was trying to like maybe i'm going to pause the video and do it at the ending but i decided that it's very good because of this topic we are talking of do men forgive their wives women when they shit on them so it's very good for you to like understand this video which i just did and i hope that you understand this video so this is the continuation of six of ten children in nigeria brought for dna testing not fathered by the supposed fathers because i promise that by god's grace i'm going to do the continuation this is the tenth month ten months ago we did it so i'm trying to like you know doing this video in the sense of um you know, on social media, sometimes people do do video how uh, men shit on their wives and how the wives like don't want to stay with their wife and their husbands anymore because why their husband cheated on them or maybe their husband cheated on them with their with their house help with their mates, which I did the video already before this. Also, try and watch it. You know, also I did a video also in our family channel, Susan and Family TV. So what we are now talking about is that do men forgive women when their women their wives cheat on them just like what we just saw now how some women 
have kids for their husband, which the man will be fathering this kids. And at the end of it, when they later, like this man suspected something is wrong somewhere, and the father of this supposed kids will go to, you know, do DNN, DNA test. So at the end of it, this man that has been fathering this kids will find out that he is not the truly biological father to this kids. So what are these kind of men going to do? Or when, like, when men catches their wives they are women with other men cheating on them so do they forgive their wives and women and also about this continuation of this topic when men find out that the kids they have been fathering are not theirs do they still go ahead and forgive their wives and still keep these kids and keep this their wife in the home as wife as their kids so that is what i'm going to try to be talking about so to my own experience to what i've seen since i have been growing up and what we are now seeing on social medias i think that 60 60 percent of men we do forgive their wives we do forgive their women when they realize that they are the father of uh the the kids that they were fathering are not their kids or maybe they catches their wives and their women with another man i believe that 60 percent of this of 60 percent of men will forgive their wives because of there are many reasons they will forgive because you know men they do have hearts of forgiveness more than we women we women it's only when we want to free that thing. That is when we want to free it. We can harbor the thing in our hearts and keep it there for years without releasing it, you know. But for men, when the women just kneel down and cry and say, Oh, husband, I made a mistake. I don't know what went on me before I cheated on you. I think it's not me. I don't know when what went on me that I didn't tell you the truth that these kids are not yours. Forgive me. But I promise by God's grace, I'm going to like look for the father of the kids for them to know their true biological father but forgive me i think 60 percent of men will forgive their wives you know we forgive their women if not because of maybe for the um, fathering of uh, another kids which they thought was them but if that is let's okay let's put the fathering of the kids that they thought is for them let's put that aside okay now let's talk about cheating because that is the topic before we did the continuation of 10 six of 10 kids in nigeria brought for dna testing not fathered by their supposed fathers so let's talk about the topic which is do men forgive their women when their women wives cheat on them so let's talk on that topic so if maybe a man realize that his wife is cheating on him uh his woman is cheating on him i believe 60 percent of men will forgive their wives in the sense of sometimes if they real, if they know that their wives has already given them kicks the reason why i said they will forgive their wives is one because one men do think very fast they think that if maybe they like drive their wife out with the kids or drive their wife out and keep the kids so the second woman that is coming as a second wife they don't know if this second wife is going to treat their kids good just like the way their mothers will treat their kids so that is the number one reason that men can like forgive their wives even when they see that their wife cheated on them as long as their wife promise like oh i'm not going to do such thing i will never go to like open my legs for another man anymore i believe that 60 percent of men because of their kids they will like forgive their wives because they don't know the second wife they are bringing in they will not want another woman to maltreat their kids that is what i know for 60 percent of men and uh um, and secondly some men because of what is happening now on social media, because of what is happening everywhere, that not only women and men who cheat on their uh, in relationship in marriages, some women do cheat. So some men, when they like, uh, when they see that their wife cheated, so there are some relationship, there are some families in Africa who have a family host. So when their wife cheated so they will take their wives to like swear the hearts that if you really know that you are not going to cheat on me anymore okay i'm going to forgive you but you are going to swear to the family hearts 
that you will never cheat anymore. And when you cheat, the thing that is going to come upon you will not affect his case, will not affect him, but it's going to affect only the woman. So they will make the woman to swear that hurts. So that is another reason why men will like forgive their wives, knowing that that woman, their wives, has already swear that hurts. She will be afraid of that hurts and she will not like shit on her husband anymore. So what I'm trying to say, beautiful people, that men do like forgive their wives forgive uh, their women you know in relationship in marriages when they find out that their wives cheated on them or their women cheated on them more than we women because sometimes you see that when women like find out that oh their husband cheat on them it's like uh, something that has not happened before and when they're in the group of friends that always say oh my husband has never cheated on me before how come you have a husband that's cheating on you leave your husband before you know it she will leave her husband just because the husband cheated. There are more reasons why women should like have a decision of leaving their husband. Reasons like maybe the man is beating you because I will not like support a man or a marriage where a woman will stay in and her husband beats her every day. Before you know it, her husband will take something and hit her one day and which is dangerous. I will not like support a woman to stay in a home or I will not like and advise a woman to stay in a marriage where her husband beats her every day you know so i would not like advise a woman to stay in a marriage where she is suspecting that her husband or a man can molest touch the kids touch the daughters or even make love to his own daughters so i will not like i will not advise such so if maybe such things are not happening your husband you don't suspect is that kind of a man that can make love to his own kids or maybe be touching his kids molest his kids or your husband is not beating you but your husband is just like just maybe when he sees women is attracted to women that which you as a woman you can stop we are women we have that gift already on us that if we want our men our husband to stop something something which we know that oh is something that we he can stop it's not like beating because if he's beating, we can't stay there for him to stop it, which will run away with our kids. It's not like uh, molesting the kids because if you are with a man husband that touches the breasts of your kids, the daughters touches their bum bum everywhere, we cannot stay. We are going to run away with our daughters, you know. So if not these two things, if just because when he sees women, is attracted with women, that which we can do. If maybe there's something that makes him attracted outside makeup, in law, when he sees makeup, when you go out with him, he's always looking at women with long hair with makeup or if it's maybe up to the bedside you don't know how to do it you can put and look and some videos that you there are things you know we women we can use to bring our husband back that if they were outside they'll begin to sit in the home with us and our kids if maybe the case of fighting or beating you is not there the case of molesting your daughters are not there you know so that is why i try to do this video and try to show to you guys that not only not only women who not only men who cheat in marriages in relationship some women do cheat in marriages in relationship but their husband will keep it a secret once the wife and the or the woman has already promised i will not do that something came up she don't know what came over her but i promise you husband i will never do that the man will like many men will like 50 percent 60 percent will believe and accept her to still live with them in the home with the kids because they don't want another woman to come in and maltreat their children you know so and in the other hand another hand as long as they know that the woman are very like swear to their family holds they know that something like that is not going to exist you know so when you like and uh, think of maybe leaving your home or you have a friends or you look at social media you read some videos telling you leave your husband because he cheated on you so it's not only men who cheat some women do cheat but their husband forgive them and keep the secret that nobody will even know and they will not even share it on social media so thanks for watching hope you learned something from this video if you want to see more of our chit chat videos or if you have any topic you want us to talk on so feel free comment below i will also love to see your comments on this topic we just talked about so thanks for watching see you in our next video by is grace we love you from susan love tv from susan and family tv by god's grace see you in our next video please do share this video 
please do subscribe subscription is free support are shining and please do share this video so that other families out there can also learn something from the beginning to the end i believe you learn one thing let others also learn something so please share this video so thanks for watching see you in our next video by his grace from my daughter and i we love you from susan and family tv from susan love tv from my daughter and i mwah, 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 mwah.